guys welcome to my channel this is Shelly uh, today I am sharing I've been busy um, I am using some digital through um, Olducina and I hope I am pronouncing your name right Olducina Olducina I think I got it right but I am using her sample and inventory um, cards and I made um, a sample booklet a large one and then I made two mini ones and then I made some um, yes um, ephemera I lost my train of thought there for a minute I made some um, ephemera fabric samples and two fabric uh, sample mini books and a large one. So how about I share those with you? And they're beautiful papers. I will post her link down below in the description box as well as her YouTube channel. And for the um, ephemera cards, the fabric ephemera cards, cards I did use um, Sam Poole's, um, um, hang on a second because I don't want to get it wrong. I'll be right back. looking for my I've been busy today I've been tea dyeing some graph paper and some just regular paper and I've been cleaning and printing that's an that's an all-day process I feel printing um for my next journal but hang on guys let me uh Sam Poole I'm sure everybody knows who Sam Poole is. Her digitals are fabulous. But I am using her just on the uh, fabric ephemera sample cards. I used them on. Hang on one second. I just want to get that name right. Her uh, digital. It's her snippets, fussy cut. Um... Yeah, they're just snippets, fussy cut, ephemeras, dates, and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so let's put that back. Actually, I should probably plug it back in because that way I have enough juice. I've been printing, printing like a mad woman today and tea dyeing some papers. So, but I'll show those papers, some of those papers after the, um, that I've been printing out for my next journal, Amity Bloom, uh, Marielle's uh, concept journal. And um, so excited to get started on that. But anyway, let's get started on this, guys. How are you doing today? Good, I hope. So I got this beautiful, fabric ephemera sample it's so cute and i am using um mary not martha's or martha not mary um i used up it's one or the other but i'll post her link down below in the description box her etsy shop is um as well um i used a lot of her um trims appliques I used a lot from that I had um it was it, this was a great way also to use up any of your fabric snippets but I did use a lot of Mary Not Martha's um I used a lot from my stash because I wanted to use them up these um sample cards and inventory cards were a great great way to use all of those fabric snippets that you had left over and also, I use some of Esme's, of course. But anyway, look at how pretty. And then I use Sam Poole's um, little um, snippet there. And in the back, I used um, her snippet as well. And I did back this card up with, um, 
it's actually a pack of paper that I got a while back and it's just vintage um, paper so and it's already it's it already looks like that so that's one so cute right and here is another one and again this is Mary not Martha's fabric and these are going to go in my next journal some of them and that's using sample snippet and in the back as well and then I backed it with that beautiful paper pack that I had cute right am I in focus guys am I in focus so there's another one and then here's this one so cute and again sample snippet there and it has the numbers here one two and three so cute and then that sample too and then i backed it with that beautiful paper here's another one and then i did a whole bunch of um oh my god i'm losing my train of thought what are these called <laughs> I know what they're called, but it's not coming to me right now. And sample snippets here. This beautiful lace fabric lace sample. And here is the back. Wax seals. I knew it would come to me. <laughs> Here's another one. Samples. Um snippets and there's snippet in the back and then I backed it with that vintage paper and I think I got the, that at Staples so pretty Mary not Martha's and isn't Oldesina's digital, digital paper her sample and inventory cards aren't they gorgeous guys so cute and then here is another one Samples, just little snippet there. It says 1880 Paris. Because it matched perfectly with Old Lucina's, Old Lucina's card here. Samples. So those are my sample um, fabric ephemera cards. And now let's move on to the books. So that was so much fun to play with. And here's my little mini book. Isn't it adorable? I think it's so adorable. And I just used um, some eyelets here in a pretty aqua. And you can see underneath here in this beautiful... And I tied them all together. I just used my crocodile, punched a hole, put those eyelets in, and then put ran some beautiful sorry silk here. So cute. And I added a wet rose wax seal. And I just love her digitals. Mary Not Martha. I used up Mary Not Martha's, a lot of her, uh, I ordered her Marie Antoinette snippet bundle. And then here is the inside. So cute, right? And then I used Amity Bloom's um, washi tape because... Let's face it, I'm in love, love, love with her digitals and her washi tape. And I can't wait till she gets more. She sold out quick, guys. One, two, three. And those are the, the sampling of the washi tapes. We have a pretty applique here. Lisa um, Price is tatting, and I used it all up. I need to get more, Lisa. I'll be placing an order with you soon. 
And I, I just added some pink but buttons, some sari silk, and I this beautiful, beautiful, isn't that gorgeous? That was my in my Marie Antoinette kit. And that is my beautiful mini fabric book. Isn't it adorbs, guys? So cute. I love it. <coughs> Excuse me. And here is my second mini fabric book. Again, I just used my crocodile and punched the holes, added these pretty blue eyelets because it matched that paper so beautifully. And I added some nice pretty blue sari silk. And I have this one. This is um, Mary Nut Martha's. It was in her um, Marie Antoinette. I added a little wax seal here in the front. And then I added this fabric piece here that was in the other mini book. And then I just added a little lace swatch here with a little lace blue bow. And again, I added Amity Bloom's washi tape because oh, I can't get enough of it. It's beautiful. Added some beautiful lace, fabric lace here. This is one of Esme's beautiful pieces there. I added some blue buttons, some lace, again, using up my snippets that I had. Great way to use up your lace snippets and stuff. And then over here, again, some beautiful trim here. That was in my Marie Antoinette kit. And then these are, this was Esme's. That's Esme's. This was in my stash. And that was in my stash. Isn't it cute? And then the back. And that is my fabric, my sample <laughs> fabric mini book. So cute. And then we have the large one. She has these large cards, um, sample and inventory cards too. And I love it. And again, I did the same. I just used my crocodile, punched some holes. And I used pink eyelets this time and some beautiful um, sage green um sorry or no this isn't sorry soap this is seam binding and i use those beautiful trims from the marie antoinette and this was from my stash isn't it cute and i added a little rose wax seal and here's the inside so cute. Lisa Price's tatting. Esme's a little piece of her trim. Esme's a little piece of her trim here. And Esme's trim. Just some trim I had in my stash. I added some vintage buttons. From my Marie, Anto my Marie Antoinette kit. So cute. And I just, I'm not going to keep naming all the fabrics, but a lot, again, was from Esme. My snippet stash left over that I used up, which is fantastic. Because what a great way to use up those snippets that you have. So cute. This page, guys, and here I added just a bunch of different colors of my sorry silk ribbon. 
It's so pretty. So pretty. I love it. And then here's a pink page. I just used various washi tapes that I had in my stash, some pink buttons. And this is all Esme's goodies. Isn't that gorgeous? So cute. And that is the back. Isn't it adorbs? I saw her, um, old um, video on her new digitals. And I'm like, oh, I've got to get on the bandwagon. I already know what I'm going to do with them. And this is what I did. It was so much fun. So much fun. And my journal that I'm creating, some of these, uh, the ephemera is going to go in there. That's for sure. And most likely one of these mini books is going to go with that journal. But I'm going to put this aside, guys. So, yeah, here it is. Cute, right? Cute. So I'm going to put this aside and then I'm going to show you Amity Bloom's Digitals. Um, that I'm using for Marielle's, um, my next journal named, well, Marielle, and yeah, it's going to be so much fun to create, but it's been an all-day processing process, uh, doing, printing out her digitals, like literally. So, look, gorgeous. These are her tags, and these are, they're called Mother's Favorite Tags, and it's so pretty. So gorgeous, but I'm just going to go through these real quick, but... These will definitely be used in my next journal. Oh, I printed out two of those. Oh, okay then. I did print out two of these. Here's Marielle. Isn't she gorgeous? And two of these. Just the papers are gorgeous. And this is... Oh, I'm going to leave that as a surprise, but I'm just going to show you the papers real quick. So I'm not done printing them out, but aren't they just to die for? Look at that. So pretty. I don't have enough room on my table. Let's push some stuff over. So gorgeous. Can't get it. Look at all this. Like I'm going through ink like crazy, guys. Crazy. Printed out two of those. And these are from these are from various kits that she has. Printed out two of those. I ordered like five kits. <laughs> so these are from all different kits. So pretty, right? Those. And yeah, that's it, guys. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to finish my printing. And I just wanted to pop on and show you my fabric um books and ephemera and i hope you enjoyed them and i will post all those links down below in the description box until next time much love and hugs and i'll see you in the next video bye